Hello and welcome to a, believe it or not, rather warm day here in uh, beautiful Nova Scotia in late February. The snow is melting, although I'm sure we're in for another few rounds before it um, finishes its snowing for the season. So I recently did a, a video with Hugh Richards from the Hughes Nursery YouTube channel and, and that was on how to make a sea tray out of pallets. So we've been knocking back and forth a few ideas after that to see what else I could be building with pallets at the moment because I can't really do much gardening with the, uh, the snow all around. So a lot of good infrastructure projects I can be doing and showing you guys at, at the moment. So, Hugh says to me, Steve, what about a cold frame? Can you do a cold frame? And obviously we've just done a, um, a little video with pallets. So can I make a cold frame out of pallets? So it got me thinking, I've got some old coal frames that I've knocked up out of a bit of plywood and, and some old windows and they're, they're handy bits of kit aren't they? I've been overwintering this little box that I took from a cutting a couple of years ago. Amazing how long they take to grow. You know, and it, but it does the job. But can we make something a bit nicer out of pallets that's cheap obviously and does the job? So I came up with this, as you can see on the screen, it's about 36 centimetres high at the front, I think it's going to be, and about 45 at the back. So obviously we want it angled down so that maximum sun can get in there whenever you've got um, plants, tender plants in there, you know, looking after them, etc. You want maximum sun so you have the, the roof at a angle. And the top is going to be, I think, I haven't done it yet, I think it's going to be some PVC sandwiched between some other bits of pallet wood. So I think it's going to take me about a pallet and a half's worth of wood. And I want to be able to build it completely out of the pallet wood. And I'm even going to reuse, try and reuse the nails that I've taken out of the, the pallets so that it's literally the only thing that it's going to cost me is the, um, the electricity to recharge my circular saw battery and a bit of PVC. So a couple of other things. Um, it's actually on the, on, the, on the drawing there, it says it's two meters wide. It's gonna be a meter wide actually, because uh, for some reason I had it in my head that pallet wood is two meters wide, but no, it's uh, one meter long. And the depth is gonna be about uh, 60 centimeters deep. And I came up with that with a very scientific um, study and method of um, that's about as far as I can reach over um, comfortably uh, when I'm picking plants up and sort of half stood up. So there we go, 60 centimetres deep, a metre wa uh, wide and what did I say, 37 at the front, 40 odd at the back. Better get on with it, aren't I? Right, welcome to the Masterpiece Creation Factory aka my greenhouse. There's one of my latest creations, uh, a new planter that I did the other day. I'll be releasing a video on how to make this in a, um, in a few days time actually. Okay, so how are we going to make this cold frame? So first of all, um, you want to have taken a couple of pallets apart and if you uh, see the link up there, that's obviously the way I normally take my pallets apart. And if you do it that way, you will end up with a load of slats like this, obviously with the nails still in. And we want to keep these nails. So all you've got to do is, you know, knock the nails out and keep them for later. And as you can see here, I've got a load of nails that I've been I've been keeping. So these are useful every little helps so that's the nails so I'm not going to tap all these nails out in front of you I've already I've already done my chosen my wood and got the, the nails out etc you need about 16 of these thin ones and four of the fat size ones okay normally get these on the ends of, of the pallets 
And when you've taken your pallet apart, you will also have these, the big bits. And we're going to use these as the, as the corners. We're going to cut these down as the corners. So what you want to do is cut them down. I've cut them down nice and thin. So, you know, as you can see in the picture there, you know, these are going to be the, the corners, like so. And you don't want them, you know, nice big, you don't want them big fat bits like this because it's just taking up room that could be taken up by the pots that you've got in there. So I've I've just chopped these down, you know, sawn them down lengthways to make them smaller. And I've got a couple of short ones which are and all the measurements I'm going to uh, leave on the uh, on my on the bio of the video afterwards, but the short ones are 35 centimeters which is just under 14 inches in old money and the long ones because these are going to go at the back end are 43 centimeters or just under 17 inches in old money so these are going to be the back corners okay so like I said we need uh, 16 of these long ones so I've already you don't want to see me doing all the cutting and nailing. That I've already taken the nails out. Ooh, wind's getting up. I can hear, you won't be able to hear on the screen, the first woodpecker of the year. That's a good sign. What I've done is I've cut a load of these down already and these are going to be um, 60 centimetres long. And we need four thin ones at 60 centimetres long and one big fat one. 60 centimeters long each side so obviously four and a fat one four and a fat one so if you get on with that I'll set ourselves up for the next bit right so the first thing we are going to do is to make the sides and for the sides we've got one two three four of the short bits and one of the, um, the thicker bits and we're just going to lay them out get one edge nice and, and straight and then I'm going to take the long corner and just what we're going to do is I'm going to put it underneath in a minute so I'm going to put it underneath this was a bit fiddly right so we've got the um, the corner underneath there, laid all your uh, your slats nice and flat and then we're just going to bang the nuts and our nails that we've already saved, bang them in to connect the, all the slats to the corner. So I'll get on with that and hopefully actually, um, the same as, same as uh, me, you, you'll be lucky to, um, I've already got some, the holes from the previous time that the slats have been banged into, uh, into the uh, pallet itself. That's pilot holes. Be right back. There we go. That's one side done. Bit of a schoolboy, a couple of schoolboy errors I made here. So this corner that I made at 34 really needs to be 40. So I'll put that down in the um, in the bio because I forgot about this extra long bit. Anyway, what we're going to do is, oh, and the other schoolboy error is, which I'm going to sort out in a minute, make sure your nails are not too long across there. Um, so these ones have come through, so I'll cut these off in a bit. But a nice solid side, you know, rough and ready as these pallet things are but that'll do the job I think so, right, so I'll get on and do the next side now just exactly the same so that is my two sides done now sort of the same rough and ready like I said but I think that's going to do the job nice and sturdy so what we're going to do now is 
I'm going to cut the angle the angle for the for the top so that we get a nice bit of sunshine in there I'm basically just going to cut that from the corner there all the way to about an inch up on this particular top one that's why I've had the um, the big piece on the top let's have a look at the angle and I'm going to cut all the way down there see how it looks okay so there's the angles cut in the top on both of them rather annoyingly I had a bit of a crack along here so this one's broken off but I'll fix that later but essentially there are my two sides now all I need to do is now the back and the front on let's get to it okay so it wasn't part of my initial plans but that's what you get when you design on the fly um, I've put a central piece down the centre of these uh, of the back bit, and it just makes it easier to uh, put it together with the other bits. So what I'm going to do now is connect the back to the side, just like that. Going to work out how to do it first. Be right back. So apologies, but I forgot to turn the mic on in this section. So I've decamped to the um, my pool deck. Not looking particularly inviting at the moment, but in a few months I'll be uh, happy for the cooling effects of the the pool. Anyway, so so we're putting the front of the cold frame on here, and I'm just literally going to balance it on the edge here and whack some nails in. As you can see, it'd be handy to have an extra pair of hands here. So if you've got someone to help you uh, with this balancing bit, that's always good. So then we're just going to get it to the edge, whack some nails in, and then uh, move to the other side. So once we've done this side, it's onto the other side, and it's literally the same thing. Bang some nails in. So there we go. Both sides done. Into the, uh, the front piece. It's quite solid. Looking good, that. So now we're going to... Do the same thing with the back. This should be a bit easier. All I've literally got to do is put it on to its front and then stick the back on top and again, bang some nails in. Making sure that you line up the, the thicker piece with the thicker piece on the sides and then obviously making sure that the, both sides are nailed into the end. And it's as easy as that. There we go. There is the meat of our cold frame. So I've just got a little bit of tidying up to do down the edges. And now I've got to think about the lid, the top. I need to get some hinges. That's what I forgot, as, uh, as well as all the bits you need. There are some hinges for the back so I'll leave it to you to choose your hinges but I am going to go and think about how I'm going to put this lid on now and then I'll be right back and show you how we do it. Hello welcome back welcome back I have been pontificating over a nice cup of tea um, on how to do this lid and I've come up with a what is technically known as a spankingly good idea so what we're going to do is these bits, the uh, the thick bits that the actual slats go on, I've cut these down, front and back, to the meter, and this front bit here, I've left this thick front on, and that's going to be a handle. You'll see better when I actually put it on, but um, and then you can easily lift it up and down. And what we're going to do, we've got this thick bit, and I've cut another slat in half a couple of slats because I've got them all the way round and that when I put the plastic on 
is going to sandwich the plastic all the way around onto the wood. I'm going to have a bit in the middle and I'm obviously going to cut that down as well, keep it nice because we want maximum light going in here. So, But I'm going to have one in there just to stop the, uh, the plastic sagging too much um, with rain or snow or whatever. But there we go. What do you reckon? I reckon that's a winner. I'm going to put it together and we'll uh, see how it all ends up. Nearly there. There we go. Last screw in. Look at that beauty. Got to be happy with that. I'm loving my handle. You can see that handle there. PVC's on. I'll take you around it a bit more in a second just to see the uh, ins and outs. But I'm really pleased with that. I haven't put a bottom on it yet, but that's, that's easy afterwards. The main bit's done. Right, let's have a quick look before we finish. So, as you can see, here's that handle I was talking about. Nice and easy, and that is just literally the base of the pallet. Right, so we've got the um, actual plastic cover, and what I've done, as I said, this is a pallet slat cut in half. One there, one on the top, and then on the sides. And all I've done is sandwiched the plastic in between the slat and the base. Now I've had to bite, I've had to bite the bullet here. The nails are all very well, but um, for this sort of job and making sure this top frame was nice and secure, I've had to use screws. So I don't mind, that's about the only thing I've paid for. So there we go. And we've got going around the sides. There's the hinges. So they were about $5. So I think the whole thing has cost me about $6 because the plastic I had left over from my greenhouse, which you can just see in the distance there. But all in all, pleased with that. There we go. So there we go. One cold frame made out of pallets. Cost me about six dollars altogether, I think. Nice lid. Cheeky little handle. A couple of these. Get all my plants in. Well, a few of my plants anyway. But there you go. Any questions on this? Um, don't hesitate to uh, to put them down in the comments. Any comments, indeed. Um, if you like the video, please click like. The usual routine. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like what I've been doing today, and you've you can uh, have a look at some of the other videos. Please click subscribe. My name's The Optimistic Gardener. See you later.